Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? <laughs> it's, that, was a, that was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh-oh. Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Name out your wow, dude. Yes. It was a G.I. Jane jump. Keep my wife's name out your mouth. I'm going to, okay? <laughs> I can, oh, okay. What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest channel and podcast. And if you have not subscribed yet, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And let's just get into this conversation right now, because look, everybody is talking about the bitch slap heard across the world <laughs> where Will Smith shockingly got up on the stage at the Oscars and open handed slapped Chris Rock across the face. And listen, I'm just here to talk about a lot of the different sides of the spectrum where it comes to this situation because there are some people that say will smith was dead wrong for what he did some people say that he should have been arrested because it was assault and then there are some people that are caping for will smith and saying look chris rock was wrong for what he did he should not have made fun of jada pinkett and her hair because it is known that she is suffering from the autoimmune disease alopecia but I wanted to talk about a, a few different sides of this story because I don't believe it is as black and white, no pun intended, <laughs> with the Oscars so white um, trend that was going across social media, I believe it was back in 2016, when Jada Pinkett pretty much led the movement because there were so few black actors and actresses that were nominated by the Oscars. And then this situation that happened at the Oscars on Sunday evening, which some people feel like this made it Oscar so black. Now, look, I'm not saying it myself. I'm just saying what some other people are saying. And I'm just going to be beautifully honest about the entire situation. When I first saw this, I was surprised. I really was because I just saw the, the slap. I didn't hear what Chris Rock said and I, to be honest with you, assumed that Chris Rock made a joke about Jada Pinkett and, well, Jada Pinkett Smith, I don't mean any disrespect by saying Jada Pinkett, but I assumed that Chris Rock made a joke about Jada Pinkett Smith and the entanglement that she admitted to having with the singer August Alsina and talking about it on Red Table Talk where she was across the room across the table I should say not even across the room across the table from Will Smith and they you know they pretty much admitted it and you know said that look <laughs> bad marriage for life and so I think that there definitely is trouble in paradise as much as Will Smith seems to have stood up for his wife's honor and said, you know, keep your effing, you know, keep my wife's effing name out of your mouth or keep my wife's name out of your MFing mouth or whatever it was that he actually said. Being someone who is married, I would definitely want my husband to stand up for me if I felt like I was disrespected or if he even felt like I was disrespected and I may not have even really have seen it that way. Because women, we tend to be more emotional. That's just the God's honest truth. And men, they, you know, they tend to be a little bit less emotional when it comes to things that are said and done. And they're not as reactionary as a lot of women. So that's why I wanted to talk about this because I just feel that in that situation, that was... Uh, <laughs> being beautifully honest about it I just have to be I just have to be honest that reactionary move that he made was extremely emotional and some people would call it a 
quote unquote bitch move. I'm not one of those people who subscribe to women being called bitches because I just don't believe that is the case. And I know what a real bitch is and it's a female dog. And um, we have several of them in my family. So I just feel that with what Will Smith did, it seems to me that he was striking out in anger because of a culmination of things that are pent up and built up. Because Chris Rock made the joke years ago when Jada Pinkett Smith was leading the social media hashtag move of boycotting the Oscars, calling it Oscar so white. Because, I mean, he was pretty much just saying, look, what the hell is she boycotting the Oscars for? Because it's not like she's gotten nominated for any Oscar at any time and and will that ever be the case so she was of course doing it in stands for her husband because I guess she felt like her husband deserved to be nominated but deserving to be nominated for most people they feel that so and so this person that person this movie whatever it should have been nominated but it is an opinion and as wrong as it may be and as many people who are not african-american that get nominated and get these awards it is what it is it is still an opinion their opinion is that those people were deserving of the nomination and whoever they chose as the winner deserved to be the winner whether we agree with it or not it is strictly an opinion it's not a fact and when it comes to this situation with him slapping chris rock across the face did he ever we're just asking i don't know we just want to know did he ever have that heat for august alcina so because when they had the red table talk discussion jada pinkett smith she has especially on that show she has been extremely open about a lot of things a lot of things she really shouldn't be open about and a lot of people were just really tired of hearing a lot of the revelations that she was sharing. So that was even a story and was trending at one moment a few months ago, as a matter of fact, saying that they wanted Jada Pinkett Smith and Will Smith, both of them, to stop talking. People just really got tired of hearing them talking. So that's another culmination of pent up anger and energy that he had built up on the inside of him. And then recently you have the actress Laverne Cox who was on the red carpet and she said you know no more entanglements right and so that pissed Will Smith off but he couldn't bitch slap Laverne Cox across the face because he definitely would have been oh oh my god so many (laughs) so many different avenues and arenas would have been calling for him to get shut down and it would have been nothing like the boycott against Dave Chappelle and Netflix because Dave Chappelle just said some jokes. If Will Smith bitch slapped Laverne Cox, he would have been over, like done. (laughs) Like we hope you enjoyed your time in Hollywood, but you, you know, you should be good anyway for the rest of your life because you don't really need any more money. Your money should be working for you at this point. So just hang it up, buddy, because you're done. He never could have done that. And yeah, he has slapped someone on the red carpet before but I believe it was someone who kissed him I don't remember if it was a photographer or if it was just some some standing person that some guy it was a it was actually a Caucasian guy I don't know if he was European or wherever it was but yeah this guy kissed him on the mouth and he just reactionary slapped the person that honestly is normal because if you feel like you have been violated and immediately that is your immediate move but Will Smith's delayed reaction of sitting there laughing and then to walk up onto the stage walk towards Chris Rock and slap him across the face and walk away pretty calm and then cry during the the speech that he gave after winning it's like for a lot of people they were asking the question is this really real because after I saw everything I even questioned it I said did this really happen Or was this a planned event? Because when someone is walking towards you, when you kind of already know that there's some sort of offense, you may not think that they were offended as much as they were, but you know that the, the air is not 
100% clean between the two of you. So if they come walking towards you, your natural reaction is not going to be to keep your hands clasped behind your back, which is what Chris Rock did. And when Will Smith was walking up towards him, he's like, oh, and, but he kept his hands clasped behind his back. He did not try to back up a little bit, go off to the side, run away, or even put his guards up, put his hands or palms or whatever up to block what he was assuming could possibly be coming at him. So I believe that is one of the reasons why a lot of people were wondering, is this even real? Did this actually happen the way that we saw it? Or was this a planned attack, planned affair? I should say not even a planned attack, a planned affair. But I don't believe that it was planned. I just believe that for whatever reason, I don't believe Chris Rock thought that this dude would actually come at him and bitch slap him on the stage at the Oscars. So there are some people who have the opinion that, well, you know what, Chris Rock, he does tell a lot of jokes at the expense of the African-American community. And it is mainly the whites, the Caucasians, who are laughing at us at our expense. So this isn't a comic show. This isn't some stand-up comedy show where he has that comedic license to say however he feels or say whatever he wants to say and not expect some repercussions. This is the Oscars, so this was not the place and time for it. But Chris Rock is a comedian, so it really doesn't matter, especially with somebody like Chris Rock, if he was on a stage at the Oscars or if he was in the pulpit of a church that paid him you know whatever his fee would be to come and be an MC for some show or whatever or some service some event and his natural thing would be to do some sort of routine and some jokes so it is quite possible that Chris Rock did not know that Jada Pinkett Smith had alopecia because I honestly didn't and if you look at her daughter Willow they both have shaved their heads before and Willow has had braids, dreadlocks, uh, you know, kinds of different things with her hair. She even had the song Whip My Hair or Whip My Hair Back and Forth, whatever the song was exactly called. And so it is also something that is trending where a lot of women, more so I should say, not a lot, but more women are just shaving their heads off because it's like, it's a feeling of freedom. The, the rapper Saweetie, she just did it recently. Um, Tiffany Haddish, she shaved her head um, bald a couple of years ago. She's since grown her hair, you know, out from that um, situation. But it isn't all the time where a woman shaves her head because she is dealing with alopecia or, God forbid, some sort of cancer situation. But again, someone's personal health struggles is not the public's right to know it is that person's decision whether they want to share that information publicly so just because she shared that she has alopecia doesn't mean that chris rock knows because i, I don't i i didn't know that i i didn't i just assumed that she shaved her head and she talks about all of these other things so i hear more so about a lot of the other things that she talks about taking shrooms um her grandmother teaching her how to uh, pleasure herself when she was five or six years old and you know and all of these other crazy things so it's like if she ever did say that she had alopecia and I may have heard it I don't remember that because there's just been so many other crazy things that she has shared that that's one of the things that would be more normal that I wouldn't remember because all of the other things that she has talked about for the most part have been pretty out there and pretty uncomfortable so Chris Rock, did he deserve to get slapped? I, again, as a wife, if my husband felt that I was disrespected, I would understand, but I also have to say that I would never do anything to make my husband feel disrespected or to make my husband look crazy and put him out here or put him out there looking a certain type of way in the public's eye. And I believe that a lot of the things that Jada Pinkett has done that she admitted to and has said, it has made Will Smith look a little bit crazy. And then he had his, his autobiography that was coming out. So he started sharing a lot of things that we really didn't want to hear about, talking about how he was vomiting during or after having sex and 
climaxing or having an orgasm or whatever. It's like, spare us the details. Who wants to hear about that? That is absolutely disgusting. So it was almost like he was trying to top Jada Pinkett Smith in the weirdo department and the strange, crazy information that he was putting out there. So now it's like all of this built up stuff, even 50 Cent was coming at him. I believe it was in his DMs after Jada Pinkett Smith revealed the entanglement. August Alsina did a song called Entanglements <laughs> that Rick Ross was on, you know. And so I just believe that a lot of this is just built up tension that Will Smith finally found his outlet to release it on. I don't believe that Chris Rock deserved to get served the way that he did. I don't. Even, like I said, even being a wife, even being an African-American woman myself, I get all of that stuff where people were saying, well, look, that's his wife and he's defending his wife and she has alopecia and it hurt her feelings. And did you see the look on her face when he said what he said? I am also of the opinion that just because it is a joke doesn't mean that it's funny. And no, I am not one of those people that laughs at every single joke. And no, I wouldn't want someone to be making fun of me at, you know, a an event like that at my expense and then it hurts. I agree with that. But Jada Pinkett Smith has operated and said a lot of things that kind of put her in a position where it was really hard to kind of not go there and again like I said I thought he was making jokes about the entanglement but he made a joke about G.I. Jane the movie and honestly it did just kind of fit but if he didn't know that she was suffering from hair loss alopecia and autoimmune disease then that's his bad but did he deserve to get slapped across the face for it on public <laughs> in public on a worldwide stage for all of the world, not just in a comedy club and somebody put it on a cell phone video and then it got released on Twitter or whatever, did he deserve that? I don't think he deserved that, but here's the thing. I will just say this and leave it at that. We read what we sow. We, we do, we read what we sow. And I don't know all of the details about Will Smith and his wife's marriage. Will they stay together for life? Possibly, because they said, hey, you know, we, um, you know, we're in this and, you know, there's just no getting out of it. Bad marriage for life. So it's like, we may not really be that happy in it or we have our days where we're happy. We have our days where we're just like, you do your thing and I'll do mine. Will Smith told Gail King that there's never been any infidelity in their marriage, but if they have an agreement for them to be able to be with other people, then I guess they wouldn't formulate it or they wouldn't define it as infidelity. So I just believe that Will Smith is really not happy. And he found his outlet to release it on and that was Chris Rock because listen he could have never done it if it was a Caucasian comedian that was up there and said that he never would have been able to if Amy Schumer had went up you know was up on the stage she was one of the hosts if she said that would she have been able to get away with it absolutely not he wouldn't have been able to do it to any woman especially not a, a white woman okay so he wouldn't have been able to do it to Wanda Sykes if she made the joke, and I could see her making a joke like that. He wouldn't have been able to do it to Regina Hall. I don't think she would have said anything like that, but again, he wouldn't. He couldn't do it to a woman. He couldn't bitch slap a woman. He couldn't bitch slap Laverne Cox. I don't think he had the balls to do it to 50 Cent, even though that was an exchange via Instagram direct message. So who, who would be best to do it to? Another black man who I see is smaller than me, <laughs> who is more of the jokey type, Chris Rock. Okay, perfect. Here is my outlet. Here is my time. Here is my time of release. But we reap what we sow. We have to really be careful. Did this represent karma meeting up with Jada Pinkett Smith? I don't know. Did this represent something that Chris Rock may have done where it was his karma? Again, I don't know. But I will say also, 
you know, even though Will Smith has apologized to Janet Hubert, who used to play Aunt Viv on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, we've heard all the stories about how she, you know, these claims that she made about Will Smith. And yeah, he apologized, but does that take away from what he has done? I don't, I don't think so. So he could be trying to make right things in his life now that he's much older and presumably wiser. But again, any other, most other black men, because a lot of them have even said that if he did that to me. So, you know, people can save the stuff about, well, Will Smith, he's from Philadelphia. How long has it been since he was in the hood? Okay. <laughs> This man has not been in the hood, living in the hood in a long time. I don't care if they say you can take the boy out of the hood, but you don't take the hood out of the boy. Mm, whatever. He did that to the right person. He he knew that there are certain people and certain situations where he just could not get away with it. So I don't know. You guys can let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section if you choose to. I know a lot of other people are talking about it. I'm just sharing my thoughts and views on it. But my thoughts and views are, I understand Will Smith as a husband taking up for his wife, but also the, the way he did it was wrong. And when you look at all of the other things that has been put out there by his wife, it kind of makes it hard to say I'm taking up for my wife's honor when she honestly hasn't really been that honorable in a lot of the things that she has shared and said and some of the things that she has done, because I, I'm sorry, I I get it. There's a lot of different definitions of what marriage is these days by a lot of people. And there are some people that say, well, if two people agree, then blah, blah, blah. I do believe that on, marriage is honorable and there is a code of conduct that God created it to be. And so when people allow other things to come into their marriage and they try to redefine what marriage is, it can be a road to destruction. And I just don't really believe that they're really that happy in the marriage, especially Will Smith, especially Will Smith. So honestly, I think he just kind of feels stuck. And it was his way of just kind of lashing out when he felt like he had the opportunity to lash out. And, you know, another perfect setting because he won the Oscar for playing Venus and Serena's father in the movie King Richard, who was seen as a pretty harsh brute you know man let's just be honest so I don't know this situation was crazy at first it to me looked staged but after reviewing it several times I don't think that it is staged or it was staged but I don't believe that Will Smith was right overall and I get it yeah I hear you know people say well yeah he was right to do what he did and Chris Rock was he was wrong for what he said. Two things can be true at the same time. If she has alopecia and he knew, yeah, he was wrong. But did he know? That is the question. And two, just because he did say something that was extremely disrespectful, if it is seen that way, doesn't mean that Will Smith was right for handling it in the way that he handled it. Period you know two wrongs do not make a right and two things can be right <laughs> and wrong at the same time so guys you let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section but chris rock's not pressing charges so i mean i guess we shouldn't be pressed about the situation either thank you so much for liking commenting and subscribing and until the next time i'm just being beautifully honest